My interest in music began my earliest memories of childhood. It was always very important to me, but I grew up in a farming community uh, on a, in the country. In the public school system at that time, they had a very robust music program. And between that and all the LPs that my mother and father had that I would play endlessly, I knew very early on that, that music was going to play a very large part in my life. When I was in second grade, I saved my allowance and declared that I was a producer and that I paid my sister to type up comic books into script form and then I went to my classmates and I would audition them and hire them and put on shows. So I did that in a farming community when I was in second grade. So you could probably guess that it's just part of my DNA. I was at Disney in Florida and I got the call if I would be interested in basically being an associate producer, production manager of Yuletide for one year, because that's all I thought it was. It was gonna, they said, we need a Christmas show, would you come do it? Great. And it, I think it's been one of the most positive for the orchestra and the community because it fills the hall and it brings people into the great hall of the symphony orchestra and that's great. If that's how we can provide entertainment and arts to the community, I love that. I work with an amazing group of people. Every member of this team has now been fully engaged and it's so exciting, whether it be choreography or direction or vocal direction, the stage crew, the lighting design, the costume design, every element you can think of, but it really comes from a team place. You sit in a room with a lot of like-minded people with the common goal of creating something really special for the audience. I really want to just entertain that audience. And I want to make them realize how special hearing a symphony orchestra live is, because that is something we can't ever lose.